Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. And well, as you may know, there's a certain festivity approaching in the Western world. And um, yeah, today for the occasion, I'm in the church and I'm going to sample this church organ and play it back on my Akai MPC, which I bought recently. So without further ado, here we go. Okay, so this is the Embassy one. Um, this is like a digital audio workstation in a box, basically. And um, yeah, there are a lot of features and options you can find here. Um, yeah, what I did so far, I loaded all my samples and chopped them up for good. And um, so we got our samples here. And then um, I loaded them into my project and assigned them as a key group to my track. And uh, yeah, you can basically assign um, samples to keys on the keyboard or pads on this machine. And um, yeah, each key group can have up to four velocity layers, which is nice. So um, the samples can change. Uh, depending on how hard you hit the keys or the pads. So for example, uh, I made uh, three velocity layers here with the uh, different inversions of the samples uh, of the chords uh, I recorded earlier. Okay, with that being said, um, yeah, let's uh, try to edit the samples. Okay, so uh, for example, let's ed edit the filter settings on um, this 
sample here. So I'm going to change the cutoff frequency. And the resonance maybe. And um, the envelope amount. So I need to uh, set up the filter envelope for this to take effect. So let's do that next. So let's change the attack. And also change the amp envelope. A little bit more release. That's too much. Alright, so maybe I change the cutoff a little bit. Okay, let's add some LFO modulation. So let's go to this screen and uh, yeah, here's the LFO. And um, yeah, let's change the destination to the filter maybe. Mm, a little bit slower maybe. Uh, where is it? The LFO rate. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so I'm satisfied with these results. You can do a lot of more stuff. Oh, let's add an effect, for example. So I'll choose uh, the effect and you can press this big, big, big key here and let's use some modulation effects, for example this ensemble. Alright, nice. Now let's just record a track. So we got 120 BPM, two bars of music and yeah. Let's just press record and play and... Okay, and um, yeah, let's add the drum track. So I'll change uh, to the second track and... Um, yeah, let's insert um, one of those virtual drums they added in the last update. So let's change this to plugin here and um, let's change um, this to bass drum. Here's kick drum. And then you can choose uh, your own. Uh, you can choose from presets or create your own sound. Uh, let's choose a preset sound here. I think this is quite nice, so uh, let's um, just record um, or no, let's do some step editing <laughs> in effect. So here we go. One, two, three, four. Whoops. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> Can also change the velocity. Okay. Uh, okay, let's add some hi hats. Um, yeah, once again, the drum 
um, drum computer, <laughs> a drum synthesizer, and let's use a hi hat now. Uh, let's stick with a basic one. Oh, that was really bad, so now I need to um, correct um, my, uh, my input here. So let's use nudge and then just move them around slightly. I think all MPC experts are laughing at me right now because um, certainly there are better ways to do this, but I've owned this for um, two days now. Okay, let's listen to this again. Okay, changing the velocity once again. I think there are more elegant ways. Okay, let's add a slight effect to the, this um, hi-hat, for example, small delay. Um, okay, program added. Oh no, track mix. And um, yeah, let's change, uh, use the hi-hat here. And insert the small delay effect. Okay, so I've prepared um, some more instruments and tracks and I've also created two sequences, A minor, <laughs> C minor, and yeah, I think I'll just try a small jam here. Hope this works, let's see. Okay, so I've got the track mute and here we go. Here goes nothing. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching and see you next time, maybe in 2021. Bye bye.